had a thought the other week. You know how you think about like premeditated murder? Right. You that means you had to sit down and plan. You knew what you was going to do, how you was going to do it, what time you was going to do it, how you was going to sneak up on the person, whatever. How come we don't premeditate our success? How come we don't have premeditated um, prosperity plans? And that's really what I'm trying to get to the people. Why are we always so focused on, on lack? The, the more you focus on, that's what's going to expand in your life. You know what the problem is? What's that? Our youth, even some of us adults, the only way we can see success is through a rapper. Mm. So we don't focus on other ways of being successful. Mm -hmm. There was a time where rappers would diss YouTubers until they realized that YouTubers is making more money than rappers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a, a, lot, a lot of you rappers, you're not, you're not selling. Mm. Your records is not selling. <laughs> Matter of fact, there's no records anymore. The problem is, is that everything is digital. Why am I going to buy your music when I could just go on the internet and play it for free? Mm. Good point. So, once again, the colonizers are going to trick you out of position. Where you now you have to go through their door and comply with them. Or, what you can do is, you get your own email. You email your music. To your audience after you build yourself up mm. and then you get your cash app and you make your money like that why are you going through a record label or why are you going through uh, 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 all these digital platforms at this point in time where they giving you a piece mm. of your profit like <laughs> what, what are you doing bro that's such game you just taught right there in those few seconds you know you just taught them the whole play of how to bypass um, you know, Prince was a big proponent of owning his own masters, keeping his stuff, right? I mean, keep keeping control. And this is what we're talking about. You started out talking about how they use the rapper as the influencer, as the person of, you know, who you should want to aspire to be. But the reason why we only have the rapper was because they kept pushing him out to the forefront. You got to be exposed to more successful people. What about realtors? What about hedge fund um, um, operators? What about investment portfolio managers. These are people that are making and handling millions of dollars. I was at a meeting the other day and the superintendent of schools was up talking. And she was talking about, oh, we have a pathway for, you know, I guess more phlebotomy classes and for more, um, you know, classes on how to become CNA. But wait a minute, none of that makes me money. When mm. are you gonna put a pathway in there to show me to get to where the, be the big bag is, all right? You keep wanting to show me you know, just how to go and clean up somebody. What about me owning my own franchise, my own home health care agency? What about the business part? And they don't want us to go into the schools. I said, I told the lady afterwards, I said, I'm willing to go into the school and talk to the kids. Oh, no, Jamaica, that's not part of my... Why not? Because it's a plan, it's a design, all right, to keep our kids at a certain level, to keep them being employees and not owners. And this is why you got to start getting an owner's mentality. People get mad at me. Some people even sit up there and say, you need to get a job. I said, what? Take the what and leave the, get a what? Get a what? Get a what? <laughs> Don't insult me. A job? What the? Mm. Listen, whatever you got to do to pay your bills, I'm not knocking nobody that go out there and work a nine to five. Yes. I just believe that I'm above a job. Mm. That's why when you watch my video, you see those advertisements, those commercials? Mm. I earned this spot. If you limit yourself to be a worker, a.k.a. a slave, mm. that's for you. That's not for me. <laughs> I like the saying boss. Yes. Boss. Yes. I like to be able to actually, like social media, when they gave you social media, they gave you an online business. Mm. And instead of you sitting up there figuring out a way to advertise yourself <laughs> right because everybody has a story yeah you got people that got stories that's more horrific than mine yeah my story is what got a lot of people's attention in the beginning mm -hmm. some of you people that's following me now don't know my story but it started with my story mm. your social media is your platform for you 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 already have your own business your instagram your yep. facebook you're not using it the right way. Yes. You're spying on your friends. 
<laughs> to see if their life is happy yeah. or not. You're taking shots at your friends. You're not even liking your friends' posts. They're not even liking your posts. Because mm -hmm. you done posted something that offended them. And they done posted something that offended you. Yeah. And y'all looking at this like this, this, this business, this online business, this Instagram? Mm -mm -mm. YouTube is a business. a business. As soon as you tap on a video, what you see? A commercial. Yep. Where's your advertisement? Mm. What do you have to sell? Is either you going to be a seller or a buyer. That's it. That's it. Which one is you? A consumer or a producer. That's what it comes down to. What is, what is your production? What do you want to leave as a legacy in this earth? You know, we were all put here, um, and we all got the same inalienable rights to do what it is we need to do. You need to tap in. And what I've been telling people, um, Hassan, is you got to figure out what it, what is your passion. Everybody's got something that they're good at. Everybody's got something that's deep down in their heart. But this is what happens. When you go to school... And because you didn't memorize everything they told you to memorize, you know, two days ago, and you go to take the test and you get a C or a D, and they call you stupid, your self-esteem goes down. All school, and listen, school is important, education is important, but I, I need to let you know, this is my viewpoint on it. School, when you think about it, they're training all of our children to be employees. They tell them when to go to go to um, um, lunch, they tell them when to go to class, they tell them when they can leave, they tell them when they can go to the bathroom. Listen, when you get a job, which... The translation is J-O-B, just over broke. They pay you enough money so you don't quit and you do just enough work so you won't get fired. All right? It's a perpetual cycle of ridiculousness, right? They don't teach you how to become an owner, how to become a success in a particular area. You know, that's where you, the parent, comes in. And the reason why you can't teach your child is because you don't have a vision. And I'm telling you today, it's time for you to get a vision for your life. It's time for you to premeditate your own success. You, know, you control the narrative. People get mad at me when I say that I don't want to send my children out to the colonizer to ask them for a job. Mm. I want to hire my children. Boom. This is what I'm in the process of. This is what I'm trying to work on doing. Hiring my children. Yes. You have your kids from the age of one all the way up to 18, 20 years old. You have all that time to try to figure it out. Yep. You can't pass down your job mm -hmm. to your children. <laughs> it's a good one. You can't pass your job no. down to your children. No. And jobs are being eliminated. Playtime is over. Whoa. I don't know if somebody told you. But I'm here to tell you that playtime is over it. and it ain't no more time for celebrating failure. Mm. You might see me on the block every once in a while going to visit my brothers that came home from the penitentiary, mm -hmm. showing them love because I'm not that high or that bougie where I can't go back to the hood. Mm -hmm. But I go to the hood because I'm hood. Yeah. You in the hood because you ain't got no choice. Mm. Elevate. Woo. You can do whatever you put your mind to. Facts. Like for me. I like to find the things in life. You see that shit that I talk that shit? I walk that shit. It is what it is. Life is what you make it. Facts. Facts. You are the company that you keep. Those friends that you surround your, yourself with that smile in your face all the while. They want to take your... <laughs> they casting spells on you. Mm. They giving you the evil eye. Your day ain't going good. Your life ain't Ooh. going good. Man. Because you keep yourself surrounded by evil that you call your friend. Sometimes you sleeping with the enemy. Mm. You want to move on up like the Jeffersons, but sometimes you got to leave that broad you messing with behind. Hey. One of my brothers came home from the penitentiary, mm. bust his ass on a job, moved in with his mother, bust his ass on a job, his wife living in the projects. Mm -hmm. He gets a house out there in PA, mm -hmm. bust his ass. Shorty don't want to leave the projects. What? Wow. Shorty don't want to. Some, some, like, listen, it's like it's like when you watch Power, right? With Ghost. Mm -hmm. People didn't really, really pay that first season. No mind. But Ghost got tired of the game. Yep. <laughs> he was tired. He wanted out. Yes. But his wife? Nah, this is what we do. Yeah. This is what we do. He was elevating. He didn't want the streets no more. Now he want to be a politician. He wants to change the world. Mm -hmm. He wants to be a nightclub owner. Yeah. Elevate your mind. It's okay not to be a hood booger, baby. 
It's okay not to be a beautiful bum. The hood is filled with beautiful bums. My God. And y'all don't even realize you don't went to sleep or you don't woke up. Now that pretty face, you getting the bags up under your mm -hmm. eyes. You getting the pussy pudge down there. Your body's starting to fall to pieces. And if you still got your body together on the outside and the inside, you don't know what them organs look like. Time, time is on my side. No, it's not on your side. <laughs> your time is running out. And you're going to find yourself in the hood forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Ooh. Remember, when you see those rappers pull up, they pulling out too. And you stuck. Wow. You, you, you stuck. Stop letting them sell you the hood. A mind is a terrible place, to, a, a, a terrible thing to waste. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. <laughs> you know, son, what, we were talking about this in the last um, episode, um, how the best, the best way to help a poor person is not become one of them. And there's another saying that says, you're the sum total of the five closest people to you. Yo, Coru said, they got here. Yeah, Coru said, a joint bank account will turn one bum into two bums. <laughs> and a lot of dudes, yo, they get so mad. <laughs> they was mad at, at Coru. Coru said, listen, man. I'm not, she said, she said, well, her friends try to hook her up <laughs> with their friends. And the guy says, you know, he's trying to find <laughs> his way. Mm -hmm. She said, no, <laughs> absolutely not. If you don't come to the table with, with, with your shit together, don't come to the table. Yeah. Don't come to the table. See, when I was younger, I was running around dealing with all the females. I didn't have my shit together. I lived off the land. They was taking care mm -hmm. of me. Mm -hmm. But when you become a man, you take care of them. Yes. Because a man don't feel good if he can't bring something to the table. Woo. A man don't feel good if he can't bring something to the table. When you dudes out there, you... The one that's sitting in the house eating all the kids' cereal, <laughs> eating their Pop-Tarts, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Stop being in females' faces. If you can't go out and you can't pay for that meal, and you telling these women that she got to pay half, mm. you ain't got no business in that restaurant. <laughs> wow. If you can't feed her, you ain't got no business effing her. Mm. You heard? <laughs> wow. And listen, that's real talk. I can't tell you how many times I go out with single women who have fiancés and they don't have a ring on their hand, right? It's, it's been a fiancé for the last 5, 10, 15 years, all right? And he talks her out of the house, all right? He talks her out of the area that, that she wants to be in, all right? And she winds up with nothing, all right? And he's on his way somewhere else to his next lady's house. This is what I'm talking about, you all. Look, you got to get with like-minded individuals. There's some people, Hassan, that I had to cut off in my journey, all right? People that's hanging out with people that hate you can't, can't be in your circle. Why, why you love somebody that hates me? You see, you're the sum total of the five closest people to you. So it's time for you to start taking inventory about who's in your circle. I got a lot of friends that got friends <laughs> that hate me, mm -hmm. but I understand. I totally understand mm -hmm. because some of these dudes want to be rappers. Mm. And it's like, I'm the rapper without rapping. So now <laughs> I have the audience the audience that you, I rocks the crowd. And you can't. Some of these dudes, and um, shots fired. Some of these dudes got to get next to the man. I'm the main event. Mm. You the opening act. Woo. Remember that. But when you the opening act, people in the crowd, they want the main event. They can't wait for you. Oh, they, they, you, you killing time. Wow. That's a good one. You killing time, and and so I understand when some of my friends standing with them lames, yeah, on the corner, not doing nothing with themselves, mm -mm. don't want nothing out of life. And I know there was a time you were selling all those bricks in the hood, catching bodies, and y'all niggas done went to jail and did decades, and now you got diabetes, mm. high blood pressure, mm -mm. <laughs> life is going bad for you. So you living off of what you did 20 years, mm, mm, mm. but I'm living my best life. I ain't going back and forth. I'm not going back and forth with you. <laughs> it is what it is. But what, what I'm not going to do, people are like, oh, he's a narcissist. So that's that's what you made me. I had to learn that the hood didn't love me. They kicked me, 
spit on me, shitted on me, sent me to jail. When mama was trying to send me the right way, mm -hmm. they were sending me the wrong way. So I had to learn to love myself. There it is. That's the key. I had to learn that. That's key. No more suicidal thoughts. I'm going to shine on them. Yes. Huh? Yes. I'm going to shine on them. Yes. Like, no. And you know what? I, I, for, for a while, when I was on YouTube, I was just resting bummed down. Mm. And then I had a female tell me, like, yo, you know, not for nothing. You got females watching you. So I started getting dressed. Then the first thing they started saying, oh, he's using our money to buy hats. So I said, hey, you like the outfit? And I started getting fresh in front of the camp. Like, yeah. I started getting fresh. Oh, he's using our money to buy clothes. Mm. What money? The commercials pay me. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. I get donations too because people love me. Mm. It's funny that. It's, it's funny though. With me, it's funny though. Because the people that you want to love you, I had to snap out of it. Mm -hmm. Like my family members. Oh, forget it. You know the ones that don't share oh, my video? Wait a minute. The one that's never in the comment section. Mm. The ones that I grew up sleeping next to on the floors in mm. grandma's house. Those ones. You don't never see no support from them at all. Mm -mm -mm. But total strangers. Stop looking for the people around you to support you. They're not. Oh, that's good. They never want you to elevate above them. Yeah. I got people that was talking trash. Mm -hmm. They had good jobs when I was broke. Mm -hmm. My wife had to hold me down. I got out of the streets. I remember at one point in time, my wife came to me and she was like, yo, you know what? She threw, <laughs> she threw some bundles away. And she said, hey, you know what? Pay whoever you got to pay. We ain't doing this no more. Mm. You ain't going back to jail. That's right. You're going to hold down the house to hold down the kids while I go to work until you figure it out. Yep. I figured my shit out. Good. Yes. I figured my shit out. Figure yours out. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. And the block has a, the street's got an expiration date. Yeah. That's why they made the sidewalks. Yep. It's crazy how most of my main hitters, it was only a few of us. Most of my main hitters are dead or in jail, got life. Mm. They got life. So now I find myself looking to hang out with the dudes, the cool dudes having barbecues. <laughs> right. Get you some friends with backyards <laughs> so y'all can have barbecues. And y'all can drink y'all Budweiser's and y'all Henny <laughs> in an atmosphere like this where the police can't tell you to get out, get off the block. Because you really do own the block. You own the block. And see, this shit right here, this neighborhood right here that I'm living in, you know how y'all, you, you, you ask, what is you doing for the community? What is Hassan Campbell doing for the community? Tell him. Where I live at, we don't have to do nothing because <laughs> every man it's man enough. Mm. And every woman is man enough. They all go to work. They don't need me to do nothing except for maybe every once in a while, if they go on vacation, check their mailbox for them. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Or make sure my dog is not pooping on your lawn. <laughs> Outside of that, when people got their shit together, we don't ask each other what we're doing for this community. It's already done. Mm. Wow. Listen, I don't even know how to, how to even come behind something like that. Because Sometimes you just let it marinate. You just got to let it sit because, um, you know, ownership is no joke. It, it frees you up, guys. And what we're all looking for is liberty. We're looking to be free. Free from the bondage of having to go to, you know, somebody's job. Free to create. Free to be who you truly are. <clears throat> you know, and once you once you figure that out, like you said, he had to figure his life out. He had to figure some stuff out. He had to you figure know why, out. You know why she's sitting here? I'm gonna tell y'all why she's sitting here. There's a, a, a this this thing going viral, right? Five hundred thousand dollars, or or dinner with with Jay Z. Mm. Now, when you come to the gathering, the seminar, and you sit down, what you're getting is the knowledge, the information on how to take the steps to get you some property. Mm -hmm. What you do with that information. It's on you. Yeah. Sometimes in life, people can't always walk walk you through and hold your hand. That's how you get scammed. That's how you get scammed. When somebody gives you the information, is what you do with it. Mm -hmm. It's being done. She's selling properties every day. Yeah. Now, 
We ain't got no Ponzi scheme going on around <laughs> here. You going to come sit down at an event. What's, it? What's the date? Oh, January 14th. January 14th. We inviting y'all to come sit down and listen to a, a, a staff of people that's going to show you how to get out of the hood. That's the bottom line to that. Yeah. You're going to come. You go, you're going to come and you're going to sit down. Hassan Campbell's going to be there what? with other people. And what you're going to do is you're going to learn how to get out of the hood. Yes. If you don't get out of the hood in enough time, the streets is going to raise your children. Mm. If you don't get out of the hood, you know, the same hood that you see Fat Joe running around and Jim Jones running around. Mm -hmm. Remember when they leave, they kids live a lavish life. Mm -hmm. Yours don't. Save your kids from the hood before the hood devours them. Mm. When I go outside, I'm around nothing but old school killers. Mm. When we go home, we call and make sure that each other made it home. Now, if we killers, we get busy. We know for that. And we scared for each other's lives. How you feel so comfortable sending your kids outside into the danger zone? Mm, mm, mm. That's just something for you to think about. Mm -hmm. I'd be scared to death when my kids go outside. Mm -hmm. Gilly just lost mm -hmm. his son, Little Cheese. Don't lose your kids to the hood. Mm -hmm. The hood don't love nobody. It is what it is. Pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. The streets have an expiration date. While mama's at work working, the streets is raising your kid. And everything that you embed in your sons, somebody outside is going to undo everything that you're putting in them. Mm -hmm. They got to survive the streets. They shouldn't have to. To live in the hood when you have the funds to get out, it's child abuse. We out.